What's up everybody, this is Steven Robles, the Bearded Teacher here. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can lock your devices, either your iPhone or your iPad, into one app. This is really useful if you have kids or if you're giving your device to kids and you wanna make sure they can't get out of that app or change anything else on your device. To turn this feature on, you're gonna to go to the Settings app, scroll down to Accessibility, and then scroll down to where it says Guided Access. Here, you're gonna to toggle this on for Guided Access. Now here you can set a passcode, which you wanna to do to make sure someone can't get out of the guided access mode accidentally or even if they try to. So I'm gonna to go to the passcode settings. I'm gonna set a guided access passcode. This is especially useful because it can be different than the passcode you use to unlock your device. So even if your child or someone knows your device passcode, this can actually be something different. So just for an example, I'm gonna set this as all zeros. And you can also choose to use your face ID to get out of the guided access mode. I'm gonna go back. You can even choose to have the guided access have a time limit, and when that time limit is being approached, that it'll make a sound. So the person using your device, whether it's your child or someone else, will be alerted when they only have a few minutes left. To make it really easy to get into the guided access mode, I'm gonna turn on this toggle for the accessibility shortcut. This means I can triple click the side button on my iPhone, or you could triple click the sleep button on your iPad to enter the guided access mode. You can also set whether or not you want the screen to turn off while in guided access mode. Again, if you have a child that you're trying to show a movie or that they can watch something on YouTube, you can set this to never so the screen doesn't turn off and they're interrupted watching whatever they're watching. Now I'm gonna go to an app, maybe Disney Plus, maybe it's YouTube, something that your child would use often or you want them to be doing. Maybe it's an educational game, like a preschool game or spelling. Once I've started this video on my device, I can triple click that side button and you'll see the guided access menu comes up. When you first do guided access, you actually will see this menu and you can set up some different options for guided access. If you don't see this options button, just triple click again once you've started the guided access and you'll see this options button. From here, I can choose what buttons is available to be used in guided access mode. I'm gonna turn off the side button so they can't accidentally put it to sleep. I can decide whether I want the volume buttons to be able to be used. I could choose motion if I want them to be able to turn the device and have the screen rotate. Do I want them to be able to use the keyboard, maybe if they're gonna search for something or if the game they're playing requires a keyboard? Do I want them to be able to touch, whether that's pause, play, skip, or choose another episode? And do I wanna set a time limit? If I turn on time limit, I can choose how many hours or minutes I want the device to stay on and then it'll shut off automatically. I'm gonna turn off the time limit and I'm also gonna turn off touch, keyboard, and motion. And I'm gonna hit done. Then I'm gonna resume the guided access mode and now my device is in guided access mode and no matter what someone does, touching the screen, touching a button, nothing's gonna happen. They can tap on the screen, they can try to adjust the volume, they can try to put the device to sleep using that side button, and they are in guided access mode and they can't get out. Now again, if this was a game that you'd want your child to be able to play and interact with, you would need to leave touch enabled, maybe keyboard enabled as well. To get out of guided access mode, I can triple click that side button again, and again, it'll ask for that passcode that I set in the settings. Once I put in that passcode, I'm shown the options menu. I can resume guided access. I can change the options for touch and keyboard, or I can end the guided access mode. I'm gonna choose end, and now I can use my phone like normal. Let me know if you found this video useful. Leave me a comment below if you have a question or you'd like to learn about something else on your iPhone, your iPad, or even your Mac. Like this video, hit subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified of new how-to videos as they go up. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.